But like, all we would do is, because like, I had an original Xbox, mm -hmm. uh, I would plug it up in the living room, and you used to work second shift. Yeah. And I would like, I'd play a game or something with Jill like, until he got off. And when he got off, uh, we, would, we would play Max Payne. And mm -hmm. we, played, we played the mess out of it. I think I had one and two. And then, uh, whenever he wasn't there, because again, we didn't have cable. Sometimes even when you were there, I would just put a game on. Like it was like a, a football yeah, game yeah. or a basketball game. And we would just fucking watch it. Just, <laughs> we just watched the game. Who you got? I got George Sauber. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Lost Legend TV. We are Ready to MC. I'm Ray. And I'm James. Today we're discussing games for the first time. Yeah, we are talking video games, and we said that we would talk about it. We're waiting with other people, and nothing against those people, but never happened. Yeah, never happened. So we're gonna try and go ahead and do this. Yep. Um. First off, let's talk about. The first game you played that you can remember playing. The first game I ever remember playing was Super Mario 64, which I still play sometimes. Mine was just Super Mario Bros. I remember I played that with my parents. Because like, I think most people our age would probably either be a PS1 game or a Nintendo 64 mm -hmm. game. And like, everybody fucking loves Mario. Oh, I just, no. yeah, like, like I said, I played what my dad was playing. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Uh, was that was that the first game that somebody bought for you, or was that just the first game you were playing? I remember my dad used to buy me. Uh, I used to have more. I think I had Mario. Yeah, I used to have Mario Kart as well for yeah. Nintendo sixty four. But I think the Super Mario sixty four was like the first one I can remember playing, and that my dad bought me. I feel you. See, cause, and it's still a fucking classic today. Mm -hmm. uh, I remember because my dad is. Uh, he loves to like. Where, especially around Christmas time, like hide stuff and see if I catch it. Because uh, one of the first games I got, uh, I, he got me a PS1. Uh, I think I was about nine. And that was well after the fact it came out. But I never had a game before. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and he had put it in my room while I was asleep. And whenever I got up, I went, I'm opening up all my presents and stuff. He said, You got one more. I'm just like looking hard as I can. He just leads me to the bedroom, and it's hooked up and ready to go and everything. And the first game that he, he had in there was Tony Hawk. Tony Hawk, I remember yes. Tony Hawk, man. Uh, I used to play the I used to play the fuck out of Tony Hawk. Thug. Tony Hawk's on the ground. Yes, that shit was dope. I, I played it all the time. <clears throat> there was another year where <laughs> we were living uh, in New Sansom, and he bought me a PlayStation Two. I completely skipped the third generation of everything. <laughs> I did. That's crazy. Like, I used to come to your house and play the 360, man. Yeah. Like, uh, I had moved down uh, to Springville, and he lived up in, uh, we used to, you, yeah, you used to live in a Randall at the time. Yeah. And that's like, basically a 45 minute drive. And it kind of sucked. Yeah. But I used to go over there just to fuck, we can fucking play Black Ops too. Yeah. And we play that shit for hours. That or a fucking 2K. Mm-hmm. Like I got him in the two game, like yeah. we had like pretty people. I so. still remember your name, Snow, on there. Yeah, because the they fire. don't have my last name, yeah. and I'm not gonna play it and have them not say my name. I have <laughs> changed it though. Recently, it's been best. Uh, I'm probably gonna change it. It's probably Brian from now on, honestly. Um, and then, uh, like, but I, like I was saying, like, or it was that so he <clears throat> he hit a PS2 in the living room, and like all our stuff like was there, but it was. It was on the coffee table, plugged up and ready to go. And I wasn't looking at that. I immediately went straight to the presence. Hiding in plain sight. He man. kills me. He does this man. every time. That's clean though. And then uh, I remember wherever we lived in North Gas, and he bought me. A, he bought an Xbox for me and him to play. And one of the first games we played on there was uh, we played Dead to Rights. You ever played that? Yeah, I played Dead to Rights. Uh, we played Max Payne, which is still one of my favorite games ever. Was that before or after y'all lived up there on Sunset? Way before. There was another game. I'm trying to think what it was. It was, it was Narc. Narc. You ever play that? I don't know. I don't think... Of, like, I, I'm very familiar with it. I don't think I've ever played the, it. The game Narc is so crazy because it was like... You were playing two different cops. One was typically a good cop and one was a bad cop. And you could change either one of them at any time. You could make them both good, make them both bad, switch them, wherever. <clears throat> but whenever you're playing as them, 
you were supposed to be, like chase down criminals and stuff and like uh, they would have like drugs on them or just like they robbed somebody or it was a lot about just drugs so um <laughs> like I got to the point where like I was playing where I was playing as a good guy I was doing my job and if it switched I was a dick <laughs> like I would I would I would sell I would sell people drugs and then arrest them and then take the shit back and then keep doing that Damn. and if you took if you took the drugs it had different reactions and like like you would trip out if you were on certain like like I, my favorite thing was just to smoke the weed because they played this one song I can't remember what it's called it was I'm gonna push them man that's what I bet love that shit and like it played it all the time <clears throat> whenever I did that shit and I love that shit you, you never had a 360 or a PS3 no I remember I, I had an uh, original Xbox I used to play uh, Madden on all yeah. the time so I, I would have never thought you played Madden yeah but like that uh, back in the day, like I only had a select few games. I had uh, Madden. I had a Star Wars game I never played. <laughs> I think I had this game. I'm not sure if it's PlayStation or Xbox. It was MTV versus ATV Off Road. Oh, I know what you're talking about. But yeah, I used to fucking love playing that. Chris had it for 360. Like, about. It was fucking dope. I remember like you could fucking race in a plane versus a fucking. Uh, Monster truck and shit. There's See, all kinds of options there. The one that I remember, like, it was just, I liked doing the races. And, like, I normally would just, like, use, like, a dirt bike or whatever. And, like, I liked doing the actual races. And I, oh, yeah, I also remember about that game. Not only, like, for its time, they had really good graphics. But the mm -hmm. fucking soundtrack. I remember I had Linkin Park. Oh, what I've yes. done. I remember that. I used to, uh, I used to play just to hear that song. Mm-hmm. <laughs> See, that's another thing. It's like, we, um... I don't know if we ever really talk about it that much on here, but we're actually like wrestling fans. Oh yeah, I've grown away from WWE though. Yeah, but I, I still watch it. Like we still watch pay per views. That's basically it. we don't. Yeah. I don't watch the TV. Where I just like I'll catch up with the pay per view. Have you heard about Goldberg versus the fans? Yes. Dude, I swear. No. If they shit on Goldberg, I will not watch it ever again. They're going to, dude. I know they are. Like, why, dude? I mean, he was such an amazing icon. So here's the thing: they're gonna, it's gonna ruin, it's gonna be fucked up either way because it's either gonna be, they're gonna shit on Goldberg or they're gonna make the fiend look weak. And after all he's done, like that's just. They're like, like even me being boss Goldberg, they're like, either way it doesn't make sense. No. This match doesn't make sense. It doesn't. But either way. Like one I mean, of something like um, Braun Strowman or something yeah. like a big motherfucker. One of my favorite things about playing the old uh, WWE games before it was 2K was the soundtracks because mm -hmm. the soundtracks used to be fucking fire. There was one that had like three, uh, like three three days great songs. They were just amazing. Which one can you remember that you played first, like the first wrestling game? Because I know my my two that I played. The PS1. first one I ever played was PS1. It was WWF. Was it Attitude? Yes. It yeah, that's, that's, that's the very first one I played. And, like, even back then, they had fucking voiceovers. Oh, mm -hmm. you Like, pissed before me the match off. would start. Oh, yeah. Man. Man. Like, you could create your own ring. Like, back then, and they would it was talk, like, fucking, while you were fighting and everything. That was dope. It was ahead of its time, man. And then, uh, uh, Smackdown or your role, mm -hmm. or Smackdown Two know your role. What was what do you remember being the first game you played on uh, PlayStation Four? Because I remember, <clears throat> even though I didn't have a PS Three, I, mean, I used to go to my uncle's house because he's a big gamer, and uh, I don't think you've met Tommy. No, I haven't. I think yeah. I've seen him, but I've never met him. Cool ass guy. But anyway, we used to love playing. Like one of my favorite games I've ever played was uh, Army of Two. Yeah, we used to play that shit all the fucking time. We used to play Black Ops Two all the time. But going to PS4, I think the first game I played on PS4 was honestly GTA 5. The first thing I played on PS4 was probably a 2K game. It was probably like 2K 15, no 16. I, I'm always behind on all the newer systems because <laughs> I never make enough money to buy when it originally comes out. So it's just like, okay, well, I'll get it next year, I guess. A question for you. Do you like playing the 2K games, or would you rather go back to Jam? Dude, I'll play Jam all damn day. That was fucking dope. Like, it we had, a... not to cut you off, yeah. we had went to fucking Atlanta. Yeah. Remember that? Mm -hmm. And the one game we brought with us to the fucking hotel, fucking Jam. Yeah, NBA Jam. 
We had like a fucking small tournament, man. I was like, bro, that's all. I was going to play. <laughs> dude, I was like, dude, I knew we were going to sit in a hotel room for a minute. And I was like, what if we not spend the night? And we did. And I was like, bro, I'm not about to sit here and chill. Yeah, I'll play for fucking minute. Because it wasn't like just like me and him. Like, we had like, like this six This motherfucker packed full. But yeah. It was still fun as fuck, though. Did you ever play the Batman games? Yeah, I played all uh, I played all three of them. The pro- my favorite one is probably City. City, definitely City. Yeah, because that's the only one I actually finished from start to finish. But I played all of them. Bro, did you ever play? You played Knight, right? Like Arkham Knight. Arkham Knight, yeah. Dude, the beginning of that, I was actually kind of sad because like, okay, I see Joker's like, wait, oh, yeah, bro, he's that. No, I'm not doing this. Like, I sat for a good minute. Like, no. Nope. Hoping that they would just do it themselves, but like, they were like, they're gonna make you do this, like, yeah. ass. <laughs> um, but anything like open world like that, especially, mm-hmm. uh, I think Arkham Knight was like the biggest yeah, open it was. world. Like anything open world, I love to play. Mm-hmm. That's why I've always loved like, like even Spyro, like it's not open world, but you have freedom to do yeah. things yeah, like that. Like, I remember you got me into Max Payne. Mm-hmm. Max Payne is dope, bro. Like when the chips were down, we didn't have shit to do. Yeah, that was fine. There, there was a time where when we first lived together, uh, we didn't have cable. We didn't have fucking internet. We didn't have internet. We didn't have shit. We basically just had power, water. We bought like and Max Payne. <laughs> we, and bought, we had an old basketball game too. We played. Yeah, it was a college basketball yeah. game, and I come on NBA again. But like, all we would do is like, because I had an original Xbox, mm-hmm. uh, I would plug it up in the living room, and you used to work second shift. Yeah. And I would like I'd play a game or something chill like until he got off. And when he got off, uh, we would, we would play Max Payne, and we played we played the mess out of it. I think I had one and two. And then uh, whenever he wasn't there, because again we didn't have cable. Sometimes even when you were there, I would just put a game on, like it was like a, a football <laughs> yeah, game or yeah. a basketball game. We would just fucking watch it. Just, <laughs> We just watched the game. Who you got? I got George Sam, bro. <laughs> it's just like it's how it was, bro. I, I miss those days. Like I miss like watching that shit. I miss it, man, but I don't miss it. Yeah, because like, but it's cool though. Cause like, <laughs> that was probably like one of the lowest points in both of our lives. Oh, but we yeah. still make the most of it, you know. What is the last game you played? Like newest game that came out that you played? Ah, uh, probably Mortal Kombat. Yeah. Uh, no, it depends. Like, cause it's Red Dead Two. Red Dead 2 came out before it. So, yeah, it has to be Mortal Kombat then. Yeah. Because the last one I And played, I think I'll get the DLC if it's not too expensive. Oh, I, I definitely do. If you do it, let me know because I'll play with you because I want to get Joker. I want Joker, Joker, Terminator. Mm-hmm. Um, I played... The last one I got was Fallen Order Star Wars. Yeah, that was actually pretty cool. Like, I've, I've played a couple Star Wars games and they haven't been good. This one was... It's, it's glitchy. It's a little messed up in some spots. But... I still like it. Uh, and then Red Dead, because I know Red you Dead. played that. Did you play the original? Oh, yeah. yeah. I played uh, the original and the Undead version. Full, fully mm-hmm. through. Undead was basically just like you playing against zombies. That's all yeah. it was. <laughs> like, they had like a minor story to it, but I yeah. mean, it was still fun back in the day. I did not beat Undead, though. Oh. I beat the original. Because I never played Undead that much except, except for just playing to kill zombies. It was basically like and the same game. Honestly, I knew they only did it because they were just capitalizing on yeah. like because Black Ops Two zombies yeah. just got big. And that's the, dude. We probably could do a whole video of just playing zombies, like Black Ops zombies and shit. Word. Like I have, I've lost love for Call of Duty over the years. Yeah, same here. Honestly, um, my my three favorite ones is like Call of Duty One, Black Ops One, Black Ops Two, and then uh, probably Modern Warfare Three. But only because of the memories. Because, like, me and Dad would play that all the time. Like, because they had, like, a, they had missions that you could play, two-player. And they had the survival. Survival, yeah. So, it was waves. But, like, survival. We used to play that all the time. So, that's that's big. Like, I still like all the other Modern Warfare besides, like, Advanced Warfare. <clears throat> and I didn't like Black Ops 4 because I'm not a big online person as it is playing games. I really like the campaign of Ghost. I mean, that was decent. Yeah. But, like, going back to any kind of Call of Duty, you see the one or two of Black Ops. Yeah. The zombies. Those are two. Those are the two best. Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2. Absolutely. Like, the stories on both of them were good. The zombies on both of them were good. The, just the multiplayer. I used to play multiplayer all the time. Mm-hmm. Even offline. 
I play multiplayer all the time. But like even going back now, that's that's a game like Black Ops Two or One. Anybody can go back and like you will not get bored. No. You know what I'm saying? It kind of makes me wish I had an Xbox One because I know that's backwards compatible. I kind of wish the new WWE game had been good though. Cause I would love to play that. After 18, like from 15 to 16 to 17 to 18, they were just all fucking repetitive. And like I was really hoping because I wasn't going to buy the last one I bought was 18. Mm -hmm. I didn't bother buying 19 or 20, regardless well, here's of how. The, I heard 19 wasn't bad. <clears throat> I mean, because that's the same thing with like two K games, because like with like w, like with NBA games, because uh, I've been playing NBA games since like two K six. You know what I mean? And I think I skipped two K nine, but I played two K ten. That was mostly just because Kobe's on the cover. I feel like like I started playing fucking wrestling from WWF all the way to when they started SmackDown versus Raw to mm -hmm. they started the two K series, and like it's just. It's fucking gotten worse and worse and worse. Let's it's like, gotten I, lazy. I, I didn't play all the 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 first two K one was like fourteen, wasn't it? I think it was thirteen. Cause no, it was WWE thirteen. Because I remember fifteen had the new John Cena with Khalifa songs on. Mm -hmm. on so I think it was either fourteen or fifteen. But <clears throat> like I played all those up, and I, I think the last one I ever got for me was sixteen. And then I think I've played seventeen with you and eighteen with you before. And then with NBA, I skipped fifteen. And it was mostly because I didn't have the money to afford it at the time. But then going back, I saw how bad it was. Like, it's not bad, but it wasn't like an improvement for over the 14. And I would have probably just played 14, honestly. Well, this thing about this, why I stopped buying and playing 2K games is like, each year, instead of adding stuff to improve, they take stuff away. Mm -hmm. It's like, you know, like the fucking career modes are so disappointing. Mm -hmm. Like, you're literally on 2K18. You have this really small backstage area, right? Mm -hmm. And you go, you talk to the manager, whoever the fuck that is. And then you play your match. And that's it. You do that over and over and over. And like, there's no fucking voiceovers. See, and, and if you look at that, like, even if it's, like, kind of like that, but what was it, SmackDown vs. Raw 2011, you could play, like, small little storyline. It, was, it wasn't long. Yeah, so which one like had fucking, them. like, Rey Mysterio and Undertaker storyline? Where mm -hmm. you had to go and, like, collect souls and shit? Yeah, well, that was just the Undertaker one. But, like, they had, like, a Rey Mysterio one and, mm -hmm. like, a Chris Jericho one and all that stuff. And, like, you could run the entire back area. Like, it wasn't a huge huge, but, like, you ran in. There'd be people there. You can confront them, fight them, whatever, turn left. And there's a door you can open here. You can go in there. Somebody might be in there. Yeah. You can go forward. There's doors to your left, doors to your right. There's some doors you can't go in or whatever. There's a lot of extra stuff you could do. You could look at the match card for the night. You know what I mean? There's a lot of extra stuff. They had GM mode. Well, hell, there's like even some uh, wrestling games where you can customize your fucking locker room. Mm -hmm. Customize your office. Mm -hmm. the, my favorite wrestling game is Here Comes the Pain. Yeah. Okay. If you take all the aspects of that, because that is basically fucking open world, you can go on a goddamn train and go to fucking like New York Station, man. I'm probably gonna say 06. Is your favorite one? Yeah, because of the nostalgia, bro. Like, cause me and John, used, like John O, we used to play that all the time. But like, well, think think about this. Like, even going back to 06, or because I'm not, I don't really remember 2006. But like, here comes the pain. You had all this shit you could do. And, like, you can't tell them they can't do that shit now. Yeah. That was, what, fucking, what, 15 years ago? Yeah. On PS2. It's just, it's just fucking lazy. It really is. It is. What, what, besides GTA, because I know you've played that the most, what what game do you think you've played the most in your lifetime? Oh, in my lifetime? Yeah. Because you've played GTA for, like, the last five years. <clears throat> probably Black Ops 2. Like, collectively. In my lifetime. I probably play that game the most. Because I used to go play it with my, my uh, Uncle Tommy during the day, because... I lived with my aunt, and he was right next door, like walking distance. And then when I moved out, we started playing it, mm -hmm. and we did that for years. Yeah. So it don't have to be Black Ops 2. Yeah. Uh, if it's not Black Ops 2 for me, it's a man channel. Because, like, I can't, like, there would be times I would call people over, hey, let's run some jam. Me and Scoob got so good that, like, we played, we tried, we, we kept trying to go to the highest difficulty we possibly did. There was one game. I don't think it was the highest difficulty, but it wasn't like the lowest difficulty. We beat it. Like, we kept ripping this team or blocking their shot, and we beat them like eighty nine to twelve. Damn. 
Like, we be Stomp that ass, boy. Yes, <laughs> and it wasn't even the team we played all the time. Like, the team we normally played as. I think we played as the Supersonics. And normally we played as the Trailblazers just because I was pretty good with Brandon Roy and he was really good with LaMarcus Aldridge. Like, if I had to pick him, I was going to play with Kobe. But to be different and not have, like, a bias, I was like, school, let's pick a team. And we went with that. All uh, right, if there's any uh, – that's going to be it for, for now. If there's any other games and that you want to talk about or you can tell us your favorite game, we might do another one where we talk about games we really just didn't like later on. Uh, just tell us, like, your favorite game that you remember playing, like, a nostalgia game for you or something like that. Uh, if there's anything else you want us to review, react to, anything like that, put it in the comments. Yep. Yeah, anything else you want to say to people? Yeah, uh, this being our first gaming video, we're going to have another one. Uh, whether we get people or not, what I would like to do is, like, dedicate a video to PS1 games we played, two, three, four, retro. And we're also trying to get people over because we have uh, James showed me two games I really love: Mafia mm. and Secret Hitler. So we'll, these are board games. Yeah, right? we're gonna try to. Uh, if you haven't heard of them, uh, look it up. They're kick-ass. They're like improv, and uh, it, it's it's just fucking fun. We're trying to get like a live-action play of a whole bunch of our friends so we can post up because like I remember the last few times we played, we had fucking insane stories, bro. Like it was classical. And it sucks we didn't capture that moment yes. on camera. But uh, we're going to have some more, so we're going to put that out. Again, uh, thank y'all again, and uh, that's going to do it for this video. Deuces. Adios.